Hi, my name is Ben Owens, and in this video we're going to look at linear inequalities. When you're working with inequalities, there's a special rule that you must follow. That rule states that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must flip the sign. In this video, we're going to explore why that is the case. To make sense of this, I think it's, it's good to look at an inequality that simply involves numbers. Let's take, for instance, the inequality 4 is less than 7. If we were to look at this on a number line, if here is 0, we could say that here is 4 and here is 7. And clearly, since 4 is to the left of 7, we see that 4 definitely is less than 7. The question is, what happens on the number line when we multiply these numbers by negative 1, a negative number? Well, if you take 4 and multiply it by negative 1, of course this becomes negative 4. You can imagine that by simply taking the number that is the distance from 0 and flipping it across. So 4 becomes negative 4. The same thing happens when we multiply 7 by negative 1. Here, 7 times negative 1 is equal to negative 7. So once again, we take the number 7 and multiplying it by negative 1, we'll flip it across and that will become negative 7. What happens is this. When we multiply both sides by that negative, what was further from 0 in the positive direction is now further from 0 in the negative direction. And so therefore, negative 7, since it's to the left of negative 4, is less than negative 4. That's why when we multiply both sides by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. And so in this case, if we took both sides and multiplied by negative 1, we would get that negative 4 is greater than negative 7. This is true whenever you multiply or divide by any negative number. I hope this video helps to make sense out of this special rule that has to do with inequalities. Thanks for watching.